All right, we're back here at Mummert Y Block. Let me get this camera thing going here. So, we're going to talk about weights today, heavy metal, and uh, the fact that we don't want heavy metal. We want pretty light metal. So, what I've done is I've laid out some stuff. I made a, actually a change I'm going to show you guys in here later. But um, this all kind of started for me. Uh, trying to find some weights of these parts right like I was looking on the internet and I asked some uh, guys I know in the engine building business and was trying to find some uh, weights of parts in these things and I couldn't find it so I figured well if I'm gonna take the time to get these weights I'll share them with you so a uh, this is a stock piston and rod completely stock from 75 I guess it's got the rings on it everything so the total weight of this, and first, this is a thousand gram weight. So we'll put it on here. So it says a thousand point eight. So we're gonna have to say it's it's pretty close. Uh, but the stock piston rod rings, the whole combination, as you take it out of the engine weighs just under 1200 grams so 1197 we're gonna call it close enough but uh, it didn't help me trying to find the weights of the individual pieces because the piston and the pin are all pressed together and you know we can get the ring weights but we couldn't get the weights of the other stuff so let's start by doing that so this is this the I took another one and I had it pushed apart so this is the same stock piston out of the uh, same engine. And what we'll do is we'll get a weight on that. So it looks like the stock pistons weigh 487 grams. And then, uh, so the pistons we're having made, we've spec'd out, I think 435. So we'll see how close they can get to that but we're hoping to get about a 50 gram savings on uh, each piston so now the individual rings these are the rings uh, so we have a little over 48 grams on rings rings I'm writing all this down over here 48 grams uh, and then this is the stock wrist pin. Now this wrist pin, guys, let me tell you something. This thing is hellacious. It's almost like something out of a big block Ford or something. Real thick wall, real long, uh, and a semi-large diameter at 945. So this wrist pin weighs like almost 154 grams. That's uh, pretty rude. 154 and then we'll finish it up I'm not gonna get you like the big and small end weight of the rod but we're gonna check the weight of the rod around 506 506 grams rod so uh, earlier I told you guys that we're going to uh, sorry you know we're going to use the Subaru rod and we're definitely doing that the H beam this is the H beam it's 5138 long it's the exact same length as the 2800 rod and uh, it weighs 507 so it's within one gram of the stock rod and it's you know significantly stronger I, I would say it's probably in the neighborhood of 250 percent stronger I don't know exactly. I think they rate four rods, 600 horsepower capability. I don't know. I'm not going to test that, but I sure wouldn't go push the stock rods to 900 and see if they would do it. Um, but anyway, they're significantly stronger. So because we're trying to build something better, uh, I was actually a little bummed out when I saw that the rod weight was the same because it's like I want everything, right? I want the rod not only to be stronger, but because it's made out of a better material that has better KSI or PSI, strength, elongation, all that stuff, 
you know, I wanted to have a, a lighter weight rod. So I went back to RPM and I started checking out their website and they make these I-beams for the Subaru, which are the same length, 5138, same, same rod, but this is what they call ultra light I-beam. So I said, okay, I called them up and they told me, oh yeah, they're lighter, 469 grams. So I was like, okay, now we're talking. So I actually went ahead and bought a set of the ultralight I-beams. And they have the same ARP 2000, 3 8 bolts, they're 4340 chromoly. And they did a nice job with these guys. Like a lot of the radius work down here is good. The shot peen intensity is looks good. Um, you know, they, they are an import rod, but you know, these look pretty decent to me for an import rod. So, and they were about the same price. I think I paid the same money. Now, what's funny is I'm actually going to save these for a 302 Ford project. Because uh, in the Y block, or sorry, Y block on the brain, the 2800, um, a lot of people have put 302 Ford rods in the 2800 because they're very similar. So when I was actually doing some measuring on this, this is actually going to work with a little 302 project I got. And I'll basically prep the crank the same way. I'm going to uh, offset grind to the small amount, go to the slightly smaller rod journal, and then I'll have an H-beam rod. And this rod here, uh, although the same weight as the 2800, is about 50 grams lighter than a stock 302 rod. And so that's why I was like, man, that's where I want to be. I want to be uh, build a 302 that actually has a nice H beam rod, but is lighter than stock. So that's where these H beams are going to go. So anyway, um, to keep moving on, we sorry about the tantrum, but um, so our the stock rod we said is 506. Uh, the new I beam that we're going with is almost 40 grams lighter. A rod so that's almost a 40 gram we call it it's like 37 gram reduction okay so now we're gonna look at reductions here um, that stock pin was approaching 154 real close this is very close to the pin we're gonna use and I mean one thing you'll notice when you set them side by side is not only is it a thinner wall uh, it's shorter and it's a smaller diameter. I mean, in the wrist pin alone, I mean, we're gonna save, looks like 32 grams in wrist pins alone. That's huge, I think. <clears throat> 32 grams in the wrist pins alone. And then we're revisiting the stock rings. I think you said 48, 48.3, pretty close. So the new rings we're running, are 24.3 so kind of like almost half so that's 24 grams in the uh, ring weight and then uh, anyway we can talk about and then in the pistons I think I said I was shooting for 435 these are 487 so we're looking trying to approach around a 50 gram savings in the pistons and I know you're kind of sitting there going, what does all this mean? Well, I brought out the analytical weight, number one, just to see how close the scale was. But in the end of all this, what I did is I took all the savings and then multiplied them by six. And then I took the cubic inches of the OEM rod pin and then uh, minused out the diameter of the new rod pin left over residual. But what we actually have in rotating and reciprocating savings is about a thousand grams or a kilogram. So we're talking 2.2 pounds of actual savings in high speed moving parts in the lower end. So anyway, um, the cam thing is taking me some time. I wanted to talk cams. I was going to do something like a week and a half ago and uh, the cam thing 
Uh, it was ground. They put the lobes on wrong. So I send it back. I think we're going to get it back and we're going to get it right here pretty quick. Because I actually want to go over to the cam doctor and kind of show you, uh, you know, what we're running. And then kind of you can see it compared to like some of the other cams versus stock and go through all that. But anyway, for now, I just wanted to talk to you guys about weights, show you guys weights, show you what we're doing, why we're doing it, what we're saving and what it means. So anyway, have a good one. For John and Jeff, Mummer Y Block, Mummer Machine, MMAD, hit like, subscribe, all that stuff. See ya.